often actually at um, press interviews, it's the first time that cast members and animated movies have met. Um, yes. But you got to work together, didn't you, in the sound booth? What did you get out of those sessions? Can you tell us a bit about working that way, mm -hmm. Katie? Oh, it was so much fun. It's it's always a lot. I think it's preferred really to be able to perform with with another actor when you're doing voice stuff. It's easier to play off your lines, and it's a lot more fun. And you can improvise together, and it just feels a lot more authentic. I think. Yeah, you find uh, a more realistic rhythm with with the dialogue, and I think it lets the animators uh, give it a more bound feel instead of mm. really chopped up and edited. Because yeah, a lot of the lines seem very natural, mm -hmm. yeah. kind of, you know, un under the breath, or I like the moment where, um, <laughs> you know, or orphan tulip says, well, you can drop the orphan, because, you know, because it yeah. hurts my heart. Yes. And, and yeah, how much fun do you have playing with those sort of the rhythms and the tones, and I guess it's almost like an infinite way of saying the lines. It, there it? is, I know. It's like you could say the lines a million different ways, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's very fun to experiment with it and, and knowing that you don't have all day to say one line. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, really you definitely would try lines a lot of different ways. Yeah. It's different, fun. It's fun to see what they choose. Yeah, different heights of emotion, different levels of, you know, enthusiasm. Acting. Acting. We acted the lines <laughs> and they chose what they liked best. But, yeah, there's definitely endless ways to say that. Like a painting. And Andy, you got to um, work with Kelsey Grammer as well, mm -hmm. and I believe you heard him do his vocal warm up as well. What was working with him and that like? Uh, it was cool. Yeah, I've, I'm pretty sure I overheard him doing a little sideshow Bob while we were in there, and mm -hmm. I'm raised on The Simpsons. Basically, it's kind of like scripture for me. So uh, to get a little taste of that in person was really cool. Can we talk a bit about um, what the um, arrival of this baby human girl means to each of your characters um, on Stork Mountain? Yeah, Tulip's over the moon. She can't believe it. And she's like, oh, great, we made this baby. Let's deliver it. That's our job, man. And Junior's mortified. He just wants to get rid of it under the radar as quickly as possible so he can then fire Tulip and become boss. Mm -hmm. And they're quite the old couple, aren't they, as they go on there? Uh, yeah, can you talk a little bit about the dynamics between the two? Yeah, well, Tulip's much more the optimist. She's a bit more oblivious to Junior being <laughs> frustrated by her all the time. Um, and I think she brings a lot of good stuff out of Junior, though. You know, um, it makes him realize that he is a family guy and that he's got a lot of heart. And were either of you told any white lies about where babies come from as kids, or have you told white lies yourself as um, to, to curious kids? <laughs> I feel like no one ever lied to me. I think it kind of, they kind of let it develop naturally. They left some literature around the house that I could peruse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I yeah. never felt it. I didn't, like, yeah, I was, they, we had a book as well, basically. My dad brought home a hardcover comic book that we'd read. And I loved it. I wish I could find it now, because it's, I can't remember the name. Kama Sutra. Kama Sutra. Kama Sutra. Yeah. Was it the comic book version of the Kama Sutra? It was the Watchmen, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, Graphic novel. Yes. Yeah, graphic. Mouse, no. That's mm -hmm. a good, good pun. Um, I, I definitely wiped away a few tears um, at the end of the movie, and I just wondered if there was an animated movie either growing up or more recently that's had a big emotional impact Oh wow! Mm -hmm. um, quite a few, actually. Yeah. I mean, Kubo. certainly. Huh? I thought Kubo was a very emotional movie. Right. That's the, that's very recent. I know. I just saw it. <laughs> that's why. Is that bad? <laughs> kind of. I mean, most of them nowadays do. I feel like there's such excellence in animation now. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I always say I loved Wally. I loved Up. Um, Madagascar. Those, those movies yeah. make me laugh really hard. I always like all the Don Bluth stuff. I remember like All Dogs Go to Heaven and like um, especially Secret of Nim. Like those ones I watched right. a lot and they were very heavy on the emotions. Yeah, I, think. I, I watched Watership Down a lot with my sisters. That's obviously a pretty dark yes. book and movie, but it was incredible. And D. Katie, thanks very much. Congratulations again oh, on Storks. Thanks so much. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.